My name is Rosemary Arneson, and I am the university librarian. And you were saying you're kind of the head. I'm the head honcho. Yeah. I um, supervise everything, both in Simpson Library and then oversee the Stafford Library, Stafford Campus Library. Um, when I came, I've been at Mary Washington a little over five years. By the time I got here, the planning for the project was fairly far along. We had not yet started the actual construction, but the building design was there. Uh, so my role was coming in and um, providing some library expertise on, I've done a lot of work um, at previous institutions looking at what kinds of furniture students like for different kinds of studying and collaboration activities. So I was able to contribute some advice and some guidance on those that part of the project and also talking about how the library, how Simpson Library in particular, would interface with the Hurley Convergence Center. Um, we knew from the outset that there would be the bridge between the mm -hmm. two buildings, and we really wanted to make it feel as seamless as possible in moving from the Convergence Center into the library and, and back, that it was an easy transition. I've joked that um, in some ways the, the bridge becomes a time tunnel between 2015 and 1989 um, because you walk across the bridge and you're back in Simpson which was built in 89 and a lot of the furniture still looks that way but it's which, you know back to the future I guess mm -hmm. it works. Mm -hmm. This is a way to connect the two buildings it's great. Um, I see a lot of students walking from one building to the, to the other. I think when we first opened the building, it was fun to watch students kind of students and faculty go, I can get in the library? And it's like startling. So um, that's been fun, and I think students really appreciate the connection between the two. Yeah. I think I think the space in the HCC that I am proudest of and shows the potential of the library working in the convergence in working in convergence with all the technology is the digital archiving lab. Um, we, we knew that's what we wanted and we spec'd out the equipment. I never dreamed it would turn into such a big part of the library's operation. Since we opened the digital archiving lab, we've had the biology department come over and want to digitize their herbarium collection. We've had interest from classics. They have some artifacts that we would like to work with them on, on digitizing. Of course, working with our own archival materials and for the class you're involved in, working with the National Park Service with some of their, um, their artifacts and, and um, I think some of the Civil War era diaries that mm -hmm. they have it's just taken off and been amazing what we've been able to do with that space. Plus, I think it has the best view in the building. <laughs> yeah. I think the physical infrastructure of the building is set so that it can be adapted as technology changes, as needs change, and furniture, you can always, you know, switch that out, get something new, or you live with something for 26 years like we have over in, in Simpson Library and um, then hope for refreshment somewhere along the line. I think that this is, I think the Convergence Center and the library connection has been such a strong partnership. We are working closely with the people in DTLT, with the Writing and Speaking Center, with the Center for Teaching Excellence and Innovation, and with our IT colleagues on how we can make a better holistic service for students and faculty. Um, and I think that's great. I mean, we worked well together before when we were in several different buildings, but 
it's a lot easier when you're just neighbors mm -hmm. and you can get together very easily, have a cup of coffee and Blackstones. And maybe Blackstones is actually my favorite part. <laughs> that might be my favorite part too. <laughs>